Hey everybody, Ann here, and today I am going to build something out of the stuff you see behind you. It's all stuff I found around my property, except for that thing there, the wire meshing. I had to buy that. So I'm not going to tell you what it is because it may end up turning out to be something totally different, but I'm going to give it a shot. It could be a catastrophic failure, but I'm going to build something. The first thing I needed to do is to just kind of lay everything out to see if I had even enough wood because I didn't want to have to cut anything. I don't really have, I have a, um, a skill saw or a jigsaw, whatever you call them, but it's not very good. Whoops, Betty, 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 Betty. You stay right where you are and check her out. She stays. She's a good girl. But um, so I wanted to lay everything out and just see if I could match the different sizes because these little pieces of wood, I know that they were used for something else, but they are not all exactly the same size. So I had to try and construct four boxes basically, making up two walls as closely as I possibly could with the wood that I had. And so, yeah, that was a bit of a challenge. And then I needed to make another section or wall, if you will, in the exact same manner. So I just tried to match the little pieces of wood up as best as I could. And I mean, they are just basically a fraction of an inch off, but that can really screw things up on a project, I already know. Uh, but this project doesn't have to be perfect. And this may confuse you, you know, me laying these out because I'm not going to make it longer, but that's actually to connect the two pieces together. And then this, yeah, I had to kind of figure, I'm trying to imagine in my head what it's going to be like, and I forgot that this has to actually go on the top. So I set about to drawing to pre-drill some holes with my handy dandy little drill. And it was harder than I thought. This wood is very, very hard, except for the, the pieces that were kind of split. And so here I am just trying to do it without bracing it against anything. I figured, oh, I'm gonna be able to do this, no problem. So um, I just kept trying and uh, eventually, well, eventually I think I get a, a screw in. Yeah, I think I get one in but it's not very good. It's not very steady. I mean, I got it in. And one thing that I noticed too is, well, I'm gonna try and put the other leg on, but um, really the, the boards shift too much with just one in them, unless you're gonna glue it. And I didn't have any glue. So yeah, here I am. I'm trying to do the other side now. I mean, I'm even surprised I got the first screw in without bracing the whole thing against something so I need a better work table or something to kind of brace these pieces of wood against because it was actually very hard but I kept trying and I and I got it in I got the first two little legs in but the thing is is they weren't very steady so yeah oh, what am I doing now yeah okay so now I decided to kind of try and brace it against my steps and it's not exactly the right height but it's close so I mean it made it a little bit easier if I do the rest of these I think this is how I'm gonna do them brace them against my steps here I had to really put my weight into it to get it to work and here I'm recognizing even more that really you need to have more than one screw in them unless you're gonna glue it I guess because the, the pieces of wood will turn and kind of shift and stuff so I went around and put two screws in each little side Cause see look at that look at that <laughs> I am not a carpenter I literally have no skills and this is kind of hard I mean drilling into this wood it was very very hard wood so I just kept going until well I could go no more and it was it was hard work I noticed that I just don't have the same kind of strength I used to but looky there I got one little box done alrighty so here we go we're putting in a few more screws getting closer to having this one wall done having I'm having to put my total weight into it just to be able to to get it to the screws to go all the way in all right so now I'm trying to figure out a way to attach once you know one box to the other uh, it took me a while and um, eventually I got it but you can see it's not exactly great <sighs> well to make a long story short I wasn't able to finish the job today because 
Look at this. See that? That is like totally stripped. It's stripped. It just won't turn the screws anymore. And I, I wore out another one because I've got really cheap bits. And this, this one is not that tough. I mean, it's tough enough, but this wood is very, very hard. It's probably like that pressure treated wood or whatever. So I'm going to have to go to the store and get some better bits. Phillips head little bit to put in there that's not going to totally get stripped <laughs> like that because it was just too much of a frustration. I even tried to screw it in by hand. I couldn't do it. I even tried to pull some of the old nails out of the old boards and use that, but they were too bent. It was just too much. So I'm going to give this another shot tomorrow. <laughs> so we'll have a part two to this grand build thing. But in the meantime, the FedEx guy came. And I don't know what is in these packages, but I'm going to check them out right now. First one, let's see what this is. Let's see if it has a note. Oh, uh, it does have a note. I mean, just a requisition. I do not know what this is. Oh, oh, ho, ho. okay. I was told I was getting these. 150 waterproof reusable chalkboard labels. These go on canning jars. This is going to be great and they're reusable. Um, so, and they come with three liquid chalk markers. So this is going to be super great. And so now I'm wondering if I know what is in this box. Let's check it out. Hey, I hope it is what I think it is. <gasps> it is not what I thought it was. Oh my lord. Would you look at this? It's a stock pot. I think it's the one I had on my wish list. Oh, look at this huge, huge stock pot. Oh my goodness. Okay, I did not know about this. I have no idea who this is from. I think it's, is this five gallons? I think it's the five gallon one I, I said I wanted. Oh my gosh, you know what? I can use this. I can use this to, well, heat up my water. I can use it to make wine. I can make it, I can use it to can things. I've got a little rack thingy I can put down on the bottom there. Or I don't know if I have that rack anymore. Well, if I don't, I, I can put something else down there at the bottom and, and can stuff. This can go right on top of my cook pot, uh, cooktop. I can't talk. I'm excited. And uh, I can just do anything in here. Oh, my gosh. Is there a note that goes with it? Is there? I don't think there's a note. There's no note. I have no idea who got me this. Oh my goodness. This is fantastic. So I've got the five gallon stock pot and my labels to put on canning jars so I can just keep relabeling things as I can them. Oh, totally cool. I am so thankful. All right, I know who sent the labels. So, you wish to re remain unnamed? Thank you very much. I have no idea who sent the stock pot. Um, I know I had one on my wish list, and I'm going to go ahead and take it off now so people don't get me more. But this is fantastic. I got a stock pot, a big one, a big five gallon one. Oh, I can do a whole five gallon batch of wine in that, you guys. And I can heat up enough water for an entire bath because, or shower. Because when I take a shower, it usually needs about uh, just a little bit under five gallons. But I don't even have to heat the whole five gallons up. I can just heat half of the water up and pour it in my bucket and then use that. So I am really, really stoked about this. So thank you. I don't know if it's two different people or if it came from the same people. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. And you know what? I am. This kind of re-energizes me. I may. I may try and go hit that build thing again. I may go across the street and ask Mr. Lucas if he has like a drill bit I can borrow or maybe a drill or something. I hate doing that to neighbors, but so I'm going to include the rest of that build thing in the next video because this is getting long enough and I'm just excited about this. So anyhow, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.